I didn't order this. Uh, hi, is Michelle there? I uh, see. Uh, could you take a message for her? Yes, this is Matt. M Matt Wilson. Yeah, could you have her call me? No, I'm at home. She has the number, thanks. Okay. Paul, Matt, what's up? Yeah, wanna shoot some hoop? Why not? Oh man, grandmother can mow her own lawn, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, what are you doing later tonight? You gotta come over, I got some new video in the mail. I don't know, I didn't order it. Yeah, it's just in the mailbox. It's, it's called Escapes. It's got Vincent Price in it. Let's check it out. Okay. All right, maybe. Okay. See you later. Okay, bye.
good evening. The world of fantasy and illusion has been with us since man first walked upon this earth. It is within this world that rhyme, reason, and logic have no substance or weight, where justice and rewards are issued from no courtroom or judge, and the impossible becomes virtually commonplace. Journey with me now for the next hour, and you will be introduced to six stories from the humorous and bizarre to the surrealistic and macabre. Welcome to Escapes. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Sucker.
Yeah, he'll know where it is. Excuse me. What can I do for you folks? Yeah, can you give us some direction? We've been lost for an hour. We're looking for Highway 49. Where are you folks from? We're up from the city. Oh, we came up to visit my mom. She lives up in Jackson. We never came this way before. We decided to go the scenic route this time. <laughs> we got lost. We can't find Highway 49. Well, we sure are glad to have people like you come up here. I want to tell you something. This is God's own place to be. You know, when you look around here and you see those beautiful trees and the green grass, and the animals that you see up here, I want to tell you something. You don't see that down the city too often now, do you? I want you to know that we just love to have folks like you up here enjoy the peace and the quiet and the harmony of all that. Well, that's why they call this place Harmony, because of the peace and the quiet. Hope you enjoy it. It's beautiful. Yeah, I it's love it. It's beautiful. just wonderful. Cool. I'm so glad we came this way. <laughs> so, are we close to Highway 49? you on Highway 49, huh? Well, I'll tell you what you do now. You go straight up that there road about five miles and you'll run smack dab right into the middle of it. Now listen, would you go off to the right now before you get there because that's a dead end. You don't want that. And just take your time, will you? And go slow and enjoy the scenery and the beauty of this place. And if you, you know, when you get to where you're going, just relax, have a nice warm cup of coffee and just remember that we want you up here if you like it like it is. <laughs> yeah, we will. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks. thanks a lot. Goodbye. I appreciate it. Bye now. Bye now. Drive slow. Take it easy, because we want to see folks like you again. Have a good time now. Bye. Bye. Forty-nine from here. Hey, young fella, we don't cotton to speeders and reckless drivers around here, and that loud music isn't going to be as tolerated either. I want to tell you the folks in these parts depend on the serenity and the quiet. Now, why do you think they call this place Harmony? I don't even have Harmony on my map. I'm trying to get to Jackson. I'm lost. Can... Can you please just give me directions to Highway 49? Now, son, 
Perhaps you'd better learn how to just relax a little, enjoy a hot cup of coffee. Now, when's the last time you had a good cup of coffee? But Life's too short, boy, don't you know that? I don't have time for a cup of coffee. Look, see, that's... Uh, we get it there fast. I'm, I'm already late. If I... This is... It's not even my route. If I don't get there, I'm going to lose my job. Never crossed your mind that maybe this job wasn't meant for you. I mean, if it caused you that much tension, son, maybe you better just relax and have a cup of coffee. Because I want to tell you something. You need that harmony within yourself. Don't you know that? This is my living. This is how I make my living. I need directions to Highway 49, and I will be out of here. Son, if I give you the directions to Jackson... Will you promise me that you'll drive slow and take the time to enjoy the peace and the quiet and the beauty and enjoy that cup of coffee? Okay, okay, I promise. I will, I will have that cup of coffee. Now, can I please have directions to Highway 49? Uh-huh. Yeah. When you go up the road two miles, you'll find a short paved road to the right. Now, that's your turnoff. You go down that road about three miles, and you're going to come to a fork in the road. Now, that's where you're going to find the Harmony Cafe, where I want you to take that coffee that you promised me you'd take. Yeah. Now, you go in there, and then you enjoy yourself, relax a little bit, right. come on out. Okay. And then you stay to the right, and you'll be on 49. Okay, so I go up this road two miles, and I take the paved road to the right. And then I go a ways further, and I run into the Harmony Cafe. Well, I'll have my cup of coffee. And then I stay to the right again, right? And that'll take me to Highway 49? Yeah, but remember that you promised me that you're going to stop for that call. I'll be there with bells on. Everyone should have time for a good cup of coffee. Excuse me, um, I was given directions to take this road to Highway 49, and I've taken the right fork, and I've taken the left fork, and, and I can't find it. Can somebody here please give me directions to Highway 49? Look, I, I just need directions to Highway... Does somebody live around here? Can you please give me directions to Highway 49? Like my baby. My 
coffee? <laughs> you gave me wrong directions. I took the right fork and I took the left fork and I didn't come up to anything but this place. What are you trying to do? Now, son, you promised me that you drive slow, take your time to enjoy the scenery and have a nice hot cup of coffee. Look, oh, I told you once I do not have time for Look, I am an hour. I'm going to lose my job. Does that not mean anything to you? Not too much, son. Because now you've got all the time in the world. Look, I just... I just need directions to Highway 49, and you'll never see me again. I will never, ever step foot in this crummy little town again. Now, everyone should take time for a nice cup of coffee. Look, can anyone here, please, can you help me? Can you give me directions to Highway 49? <laughs> Anybody, I just... I just need to get directions to Highway 49. Can you help me out or what? <laughs> what is the deal here with everybody? What are you? Are you guys just a bunch of freaks or what? Hello, Biogenetics, Dr. Budoff. What? What? Well, get security down there right now. 
No, I will call Dr. Ranchoff just to get security down there now. Hello, Dr. Ranchoff. This is Dr. Budov in Biogenetics. We have got a problem. Something's broken out of the Experimental Wildlife Preserve in Sector 7. I don't know. I'm not sure. Look, I suggest you meet me down there right now, okay? I will see you right now.
Morning, Miss Tucker. She's still up there on that mountain? She's still up there on that mountain. Yeah, and still looking for gold up there, is she? Yes, Virgil, she's still looking for gold. Good morning, Tom. What, well, Mary, ain't that funny? Evie and I were just talking about you over breakfast. How are you? Just fine, Tom. And you? Well, business is a little slow, but Evie and I are just fine. You know, it's been a long time since we've seen you. We were beginning to worry a little. Uh, no need to worry about me, Tom. There's still enough gold in those hills to take care of this old lady for a while. Well, let's see what you got here. Well, 
Mary, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but, well, you know, I, I got a lot of credit out and everything, and, uh, well, you just got enough here to pay your last bill, you know, and, and maybe $30. Oh, I understand, Tom. I don't need much. Uh, just a little flour and some twine and, uh, and a roll of that plastic sheet. And... Well, you know, I hate to ask it, but I got so much credit out. You know, I don't want to tell you how to live, Mary, but don't you think it's time you thought about selling that mountain and moving down into town? Why, you know, some of them logging companies pay a pretty price. Now, Tom, that mountain was Jonah's dream, and you know it. I got to do what I got to do, and that's it. Well, I don't think Jonah would have wanted you to live up there all by yourself year after year. After all, it's taking you longer to get the little you got and bring it down here. Listen, I have to do it, and I don't want to hear any more about it, Tom. That's it. Okay. I want you to know that Evie and I are here in case you need us. I'll be all right, Tom. Don't worry. Here are your groceries. Thanks, Tom. You got any more of those nickel candies? <laughs> Can you put them on my bill? Well, no, not this time. My treat, Mary. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, you take care of yourself. Don't be away so long next time. Tell Evie I said hello. I will. Look who's here. Are you looking for something? How about some candy? <laughs> now, whose turn is it this time? Me, it's my turn. Well, you know what I found when I was mining this week? A real Indian arrowhead. Wow. And that's just for you. Wow. What do you say? Oh, thanks, Mrs. Tucker. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, I gotta go now. So I'll see you next time I come in. Okay? Bye, Mrs. Tucker. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. be bringing in much. I'll ask old Tom. Hey, Tom. Yeah? Uh, Mary Tucker, uh, oh, what did you have in gold this time? Oh, uh, about $92. $92? Why, she can't be making that. And she's working those diggings just like Jonah. Yep, yep, so she just got that fever. Got gold fever the same as old Jonah.
their dream come true. Do you hear me, Mary? This is what I've been dreaming of. I'm going to buy this mountain, Mary. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this nugget a new ring for you. Do you hear me? I'm going to make this nugget a new ring. This mountain's going to be ours.
this time. We've been sitting on it all this time.
just seen what these stories so aptly illustrate is the line separating reality from fantasy a very fine one indeed virtually invisible to the naked eye it is this thought that brings us to our sixth story this particular story is unique in that we have decided to have you Matthew Wilson participate <laughs> What? I said you have been chosen to take part in this next story. You do want to be involved now, don't you, Matthew? Or is it Matt? This is nuts. There is one thing that I cannot stand and will not tolerate, and that is being cut off or interrupted. Do I make myself perfectly clear? What is the matter? What are you doing? Don't take that tape out. Do you hear me? Ha, 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 ha. 